STS-76 was NASA's 76th Space Shuttle mission, and the 16th mission for Atlantis. STS-76 launched on the 22nd of March 1996 at 3:13 a.m. Eastern UTC-5 from Kennedy Space Center Launch Pad 39B. STS-76 lasted over nine days, traveled about 3,800,000 miles while orbiting Earth an estimated 145 times, and landing at 5.28 a.m. Pacific Standard Time UTC -8 on 31 March 1996 at Edwards Air Force Base Runway 22. The flight was the third shuttle mission to dock with the Russian space station Mir, as part of the Shuttle Mir program, carrying astronaut Shannon Lucid to the orbital laboratory to replace NASA astronaut Norm Thagard. STS-76 also carried a SPACEHAB single module along with Lucid, and on flight day 6 Linda Godwin and Michael R. Clifford performed the first U.S. spacewalk around two docked spacecraft. Crew <laughs> Topic: Spacewalks. Godwin and Clifford, Eva One. Eva One start the 27th of March 1996 to 6:34 Coordinated Universal Time. Eva One end the 27th of March 1996 to 12:36 Coordinated Universal Time. Duration, 6 hours, 02 minutes. Topic: Mission highlights Third link-up between U.S. Space Shuttle and Russian Space Station Mir highlighted by transfer of veteran astronaut Shannon Lucid to Mir to become first American woman to live on station. Her approximately four and a half month stay also eclipsed long duration U.S. spaceflight records set by first American to live on Mir, Norm Thagard. Lucid was succeeded by astronaut John Blaha during STS 79 in August, giving her distinction of membership in four different flight crews two U.S. and two Russian and her stay on Mir kicked off continuous U.S. presence in space for the next two years. Payload bay configuration included orbiter docking system in forward area and SPACEHAB single module toward the aft. STS-76 marked first flight of SPACEHAB pressurized module to support shuttle Mir dockings. Single module primarily served as stowage area for large supply of equipment slated for transfer to space station, but also carried European Space Agency's BioRack experiment rack for on-orbit research. Atlantis hooked up with Mir on flight day 3, following same R-bar approach employed on STS-74. Actual connection between orbiter docking system and docking module attached to crystal module docking port occurred at 9.34 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 24 March. Hatches opened a little less than two hours later. Awaiting Atlantis arrival were Mir 21 Commander Yuri Onofrenko and Flight Engineer Yuri Yusachev, who were launched to Mir on 21 February. In July, they were joined by Mir 22 Commander Valery Korzin, Flight Engineer Alexander Kaleri, and CNES astronaut Claudie Andre Deschaise. After two week stay, Andre Deschaise would return to Earth with Anna Franco and Yusachev while Korzin and Kaleri remained on board with Lucid. 
During five days of docked operations, about 1,500 pounds kilograms of water and two tons of scientific equipment, logistical material and resupply items transferred to Mir, experiment samples and miscellaneous equipment brought over to orbiter. In Biorac, 11 separate scientific investigations were conducted. Study topics included effect of microgravity and cosmic radiation on plants, tissues, cells, bacteria and insects and effects of microgravity on bone loss. Also transferred to station were Mir Glovebox Stowage equipment to replenish Glovebox already on station, Queen's University Experiment in Liquid Diffusion flown in orbiter MIDIC locker, and High Temperature Liquid Phase Sintering experiment. On flight day 6, Godwin and Clifford conducted what some claim to be the first U.S. extravehicular activity EVA around two mated spacecraft. However, this appears to ignore the Apollo 9 EVA, and EVAs during Skylab. During 6-hour, 2-minute, 28-second EVA, they attached four Mir Environmental Effects Payload experiments to station's docking module. Experiments designed to characterize environment around Mir over an 18-month period. Godwin and Clifford wore simplified aid for EVA rescue safer propulsive devices first flight tested during STS-64. Other payloads, Shuttle Amateur Radio Experiment SAREX, KIDSAT, a project that gives middle school students opportunity to participate in space exploration, and Trapped Ions in Space TRIS, a naval research laboratory experiment flown in getaway special canister in Cargo Bay. See also List of human spaceflights List of human spaceflights to Mir List of Space Shuttle missions Outline of Space Science External links NASA Mission Summary STS-76 Video Highlights STS-76 Letters from the Lead FDO This article incorporates public domain material from websites or documents of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration.